hope now. I didn't pay enough attention in class and now I'm so far behind. Hey, don't worry, look. I heard there's an IBCSC accelerator seminar coming up by Aspiration International School. I heard the teachers are very experienced. Really? You think it's suitable for me? I still have so much left. I'm so far behind. This seminar is precisely for people like you. The teachers will run through the entire syllabus and highlight points that we need to pay special attention to. Dr. Dave is teaching now. Why don't you come in and experience it for yourself? Okay? Hi, Dr. Dave. Okay, hello, students. Uh, I'm Dr. Dave, and I will be conducting the seminar for today uh, on the subject known as biology. And uh, don't worry, I assure you that I will be able to help you revise better in the most efficient way. Alright, so let's start with this question. Okay, so basically today I'm going to be doing one very difficult concept, which is on natural selection and evolution. A lot of times when this question comes out in past year paper, students will have difficulty in answering. Because in the latest file of IGCSA exam question, they like to combine two common words in that one same question. And that will be explanation followed by a description or description followed by an explanation. Okay? So we'll be looking at the development of antibiotic resistance strains as an example of natural selection and these have gone and led to evolutions of these ERG strains. Okay. So this will be the question that I will be looking at. As you can see in your past year booklet, this question is taken from October, November 2018, paper 41, question number 2. Alright, so we have given, the question have given two Petri dish. If you can see, the Petri dish F has a very minimal zone of clearance, indicating a lot of bacteria surviving in this particular Petri dish. And in this Petri dish, you have got a bigger or a greater, larger, sorry, bigger, greater or larger zone of clearance. And that is when it indicates that this antibiotic is sensitive enough to kill the bacteria surrounding and this antibiotic is not powerful enough to kill the the bacteria surrounding in this petri dish. Can you see that? So this will be the question that is commonly asked. As you, as you can see, explain how bacteria become resistant to antibiotics and how human can reduce the problems of antibiotic resistance. What students fail to notice is we have got an explanation question here and we have got a description question here. So we need to reason out to the examiner why such phenomena takes place. Now, if you have studied enough or if you have done enough revision, you need to know that ARG is an example of mutation. Now, IGCSE will have different formatting style in terms of assessing children. Whenever you are given a scientific term, the next sentence must be the definition because they are testing you in that question. So mutation is a scientific term. So answer number one will be the definition. Can you see that? Then you have studied that this is due to variation, natural selection and evolution. So you must link these three words together. So, what do you do first? You're going to tell the examiner that bacteria that is weak resistance survive and bacteria that has got no resistance die. And the resistance one will then undergo asexual reproduction and then they pass on the gene without any change to their generation or to their future generation or their future offspring. Can you see that? And this process will take place over many, many generations and that will form a colony of antibiotic resistant gene. So can you see how you have beautifully described variation? You have chosen how natural selection took place and how you have appropriately linked the idea to the evolution over here. So that will be answering to the first question. Now, because in the exam time, you know, in the exam mode, students often get stressed out and they will miss out the second part of the question and that will then reduce the six marks or any other marks given in the question, you know, maybe by two or by three. So do not forget the second half of the question. 
that's a distractor because they do not highlight that. So only if you're sensitive enough to pick up the question, you will be able to give food. So you must end your answer by telling how humans can reduce the occurrence of antibiotic resistant gene. Okay? Now, what are the common misconceptions that often uh, done or often produce in students' answer? So these are the common misconceptions. A lot of times students will say that it is the antibiotic that causes mutation. But as you can see, mutation is a random event. We do not know when and how that has happened. But it is there in their gene or in their population. That's number one. Number two, bacteria can never gain active immunity. Because student is trying to put two ideas from two different topics together. So bacteria should never be able to gain active immunity and that is not the cause of them having resistance. And some of them will have, you know, maybe because of exam tension, they may accidentally write antibodies as opposed to antibiotics. Can you see that? So please choose your words carefully. And in the current style of exam questioning, they like to test multiple topics in that one same question. And the topics to look for in this uh, component will be drugs, because antibiotic is a drug that is used to treat bacterial infection. Reproduction, because bacteria reproduces asexually. Variation and natural selection, we have just covered that in the question before. And the usage of bacteria in industrial biology. So come to this seminar and I'll teach you how you guys can link different topics in that same question perfect.